Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to work today on how to prepare a book cover to make a ring bound journal. Um, I'm just using a Reader's Digest book here. Um, I've already got one cover prepared, so I'm just going to show you how to do the other one. I wasn't originally going to do a ring bound journal in all three of them. Or all three of them. In both of them. But I decided to go ahead. Uh, because it's the perfect size for both both journals. So. What I do. Is I kind of stick my finger in there. So you have a bit of a gap. <clears throat> and stand the book up. And just cut all the way down in this particular instance it's okay if you cut through the spine because the spine will be removed ordinarily though you wouldn't wouldn't want to cut through the spine. Which I just did, as you can see. Cut through the spine on that one. Well, that wasn't quite how I wanted to do it, but there you go. Um... <clears throat> Do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Move that off to the side. And then you're going to take a pair of scissors. And you're going to cut the spine part off. And you're going to come along and trim off any of these edges to kind of get a, a straight edge. Okay. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just cut this part off here. take a sanding block or sandpaper or sanding sponge or even a nail file will work. You're going to go along the inner and outer part of the spine, get any jagged bits off. And you're left with a smooth area. Okay. And you do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
kind of messy, but then you're left with two smooth surfaces ready to paint. Uh, you don't have to paint them. Um, I'm just going to because I'm doing Halloween journals, so I want them to be black. Um, and I just use just regular cheap uh, acrylic paint. To do so and a uh, foam brush and then I put down some wax paper before I do that I'll do that off camera but in the interest of saving time I've already got one of the covers prepared and ready to go so <clears throat> I will show you that and this is what it looks like so this uh, stickers here that look like uh, corner tabs they look like spider webs not really sure if you can see that there we go look like spider webs oh those came from Kyung uh, along with the sticker here and this is um, some scrapbook ephemera that um, came from Simon Says Stamp and it just says Midnight Tales on it in the back is just you know plain now what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke our holes in so i'm gonna take a ruler here not really going to measure necessarily i just want to make some marks and pretty much eyeball it at this point That looks pretty good. So I'm going to take my crocodile with the big, big uh, chomper side. And I'm just going to turn it basically upside down so you can see where you've made your mark. Trying to get the paper out of the hole. There we go. Now, what you want to do then is flip it over, line it up with the back cover, and make your mark just like that. and then do it again.
<laughs> Didn't get it all the way out. And then one last time. Okay. I probably should have used the big bite too for that. Um, I've got the big one. There you go. All right. And that is how you prepare a cover to do the ring binding. Okay. And you flip that back over. And I've got the large ones. I don't know if I'll need large ones as I'm making it though. I can always fix it. <clears throat> I have to drop it. I see that that one was off centered even though that was marked. Oh well. It happens. You can fix it as you're putting your pages in, so. <sighs> so essentially, your book will open up like that but yeah for whatever reason that didn't line up like it was supposed to but no matter it'll still close it'll work um so i'm gonna go ahead and take them back out because i'll have to do the inside of the cover Probably would have helped if I would have just accurately measured both of them instead of um, lining them up and doing that. Mm. Then what you want to do is you want to do each of your pages with the hole punch or the crocodile punch that you're going to put in here. And I've already got a start on the uh, some of my pages. So I'll move them off to the side. Oh, yeah, I was going to uh, put eyelets in. Now these are the ones that are supposed to fit in here. And they are not fitting. What about the white ones? Will they fit? Yep, I use these for everything else with the crocodile, and that ain't working either. Okay, well, uh, plan B. I got some hole reinforcers here.
put those on. Now it's up to you whether you put whole reinforcers on your pages or eyelets or anything else like that. I won't be doing that um, because it'll it'll stand up to because I'm using like card stocks and things like that. Scrapbook paper, coffee dyed paper. There we go. There. It's mainly just for looks anyways. So there it is. Um, I will show you. Move that out of the way too. I have uh, this is what I've got so far for the pages. Uh, this is I added a little vampire to the notebook. Thought it was cute. I just put him on with some fabric glue. Uh, so I've got some coffee dyed uh, notebook paper, um, some regular coffee dyed paper, I've got uh, some of these other papers that uh, Kian dyed go in there. I've got some black notebook paper. Um, that around because I'm actually gonna trim that off a little uh, to make new holes for it okay to put in I figured it'd be kind of fun to use it uh, to write with a uh, jelly roll pin and I've got some uh, little scrapbook paper, uh, kind of Halloween. I gotta trim it down a little better. For whatever reason, it's not too terribly straight. little bit better uh, you know I've got pages of different sizes so I got uh, some scrap of paper here these six by six and um, scrapbook pages which uh, are shiny actually but they are double-sided um, and I just got one each out of uh, the, the packages so this is what they look like So this one is just, you know, just a basic, general, uh, you know, Halloween journal with your typical um, Halloween style decorations and stuff. Yeah, 
and that one. <clears throat> I am also going to put in this bag, um, which Kyung sent some, um, uh, like, foam stickers in, but I thought the bag was pretty, so I'm going to incorporate it somehow. Um, I've also got these stickers. Oh, I'm sorry, it was black lace that came in here that she sent. Um, and I've got these stickers that I might use. And this is the black lace that, that uh, she sent. I bought it from uh, Wonders by Wink. That's Kim's shop on Etsy. And I bought the rest of what she had. So, I just thought it was really pretty. And I'm going to decorate it up. But she sent me these um, little foamy stickers. I had seriously debated on um, just decorating my craft room with the bats because they're adorable. And then we have a sparkly pumpkin and a candy corn because why wouldn't you have a candy corn on Halloween? That's when you're supposed to have them. So yeah, um, so there's that. Um, so that is, um, some of the things that we have planned for that journal. I also have, <coughs> excuse me, never fails every time you get on camera is when I get croaky. Uh, hang on just a second and I'll be right back. I also have some bat ribbon. Uh, these are the little ephemera pieces. Like you can turn them into journaling cards. Like they're already decorated on the back to write on. Or to use them as decorations. But I figured that'd be great for um, putting in pockets. And I've got napkins. I'm not sure if you can sell the other spiders. Um, I got these. These. And these. I also got these dies. These. Little kind of dancing skeletons. I thought we could use these as some, like the larger ones for tags. And I've also got uh, this pack of material, the Fat Quarters bundles um, that you can get. I got it from Walmart. Okay. Um, I thought about making a fabric flip. Or uh, to do some ruffles for the edges. I thought that might be cute to do um, Halloween ruffles. Uh, so I've got these haunted houses with ghosts. And I've got the black cats. And I've got these ravens, which I absolutely adore this material. So I'll be using it elsewhere, I'm sure. Uh, these spooky trees with a witch uh, would help if it was right side up. And these awesome pumpkins. So, so that is some of the things that we have planned. I also um, have some black uh, scrap of, not scrap of paper, uh, cardstock and some orange cardstock. Um, but I think we'll um, probably be doing some like uh, napkin pockets and stuff like that. I just like to them onto 
um, hard sock and I also got some remnants left over that we can also use as pockets just you know back them on the card or something to make them a little stiffer so um so there's that but I wanted to show you the kit um from shabby dabby doodle for the other um journal that we're going to be doing <coughs> Cause I will be, you know, like I said, I'll be making both of them on camera. So, oops. Um, so these are the ephemera pieces, and I've got them. I just got them on white um, cardstock, and I do have them a little bit smaller than how they normally come. Um, just so I could use them, you know, like as decoration for pockets or. You know, actual pockets, um, actual journal cards, um, tags. Um, so it's got like different fussy cuts and stuff. Let's see why it would be perfect to use the napkins that Kyung sent for the cover because of all the skulls and stuff. It just goes perfectly, especially that red splattered stuff that she sent. Um, there's that. I love that image. There's the, the little Victorian lady skeleton. I'm going to say that's like husband and wife. Um, and these are the pages. This must be the house they live in. It's a Victorian house. So. So, yeah. so these are the background pages. Uh, this one is printed on cardstock also um because i may want to do the inside covers of those i'm not sure this is also on cardstock so i wasn't sure which one i would want to use but there's another one with the haunted house um the window and a bat and a raven a pretty kind of grungy red background page another awesome skeleton picture and this one's just a dark <coughs> grungy reddish background page with black in there so yeah so this is more on the goth side of the halloween stuff but I equally love both. I love Halloween in general. So one time of year where you can be someone else. But yes, there's this one. I love the bats. And I fell in love with this kit mainly because of the bats and the skeletons. Um, I like this little page here. It's got the little the fence and the graveyard and the bat. And this one with the clock and all the bats and the raven and the window. And this one with some um, tags in the background. Text, blood spatters. There's another one of those pages that has a little Victorian lady and her husband. Uh, another this red background page. And another one of those. Um, this one would be a perfect backing page or to write on. Uh, another one of those. And another one of those, which all come in the kit that way. I mean, it just prints off that way. But yeah, that is the kit 
so as you can see, I have two very different styles of Halloween journal, but both that I actually really love. So uh, when we come back, we will decorate the cover of this journal. So that is exactly what we'll do then. And that includes uh, poking. I'll have the holes poked in there already, I think. So we'll just decorate it. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.